Middle School, and welcome back to Bearcat TV, the new show specifically designed to help keep you firmly in the know. My name is Jacob, and I am your host. Let me be the tomato sauce to your spaghetti as we feast on this week's breaking middle school news. Today is Monday, October 24th, and on this week's Bearcat TV hit list we have key dates for this week, save the date for an MS Courtyard event, and a special feature on the three Bs. Let's dive right in. This week is not your typical week in middle school. Today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, we have the parent-teacher conferences, which means we all get to go home at 12 noon. Students are asked to leave campus immediately. Students who are not picked up on time will only be allowed to wait in the following areas. The cantina, the round tables in the main hallway, or inside the security office. Jacob, you look so bored. What are you doing here? We had the parent-teacher conference. I forgot, okay? I thought it was a full day. All other areas, including the MS library, are closed to students as teachers prepare for the PTCs. Let's take a closer look at how the schedule will work on these deeds. Today and tomorrow, we have the first three blocks of the day, followed by advisory or tutorials from 11.30 to 12. There's no change to the time of morning break. If you just follow your schedule for the first three blocks each morning, you'll be fine. On Wednesday, because of the late start, we will have the first two blocks of the day, followed by lunch. Advisor will wrap up the morning from 11.35 to 12. Thursday is just a regular day of school, and at 3 p.m., the October break starts. There is no school on Friday and no school for all the rest of the week. This gives everyone 10 glorious vacation days. Whatever your plans are for the October break, we hope that you have fun and that you stay safe. See you all back on, at school on Monday, November 7th. Speaking of November, we have an awesome MS Courtyard party coming up on Friday, November 18th from 3.15 to 5.45 p.m. This event is open to all middle school students over the first two weeks of November. We will be sharing all the details via advisory announcements and BCTV. But for now, please save the date. The three B's, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible, frame our thinking when it comes to how all our members of the Bearcat Nation interact with each other. We need to try and model the three B's with the words we choose and the actions we take. Let's head over to Doe for a special BCTV special feature on what our three B's look like in the cantina. So I am BCTV special reporter. Welcome to our 3B special feature. This week, let's examine what our 3Bs look like in the cantina. Let's dive in! Harris, can you have our 3Bs? Be safe, be responsible, and be respectful. Thank you so much, that's amazing! What does it mean to be safe in this event? <laughs> well, I think with, to be safe in the cantina is to rush around so you don't bump into people, and to always look at food allergies because it can make you sick. Also, it's, it's good to keep your bag under the benches so kids don't trip over it. Terrence, what does it mean to be responsible in the cantina? Clearing away all your trash from your table, waiting in line for and serving all your food into the Wow, thank you so much. Jessica, what does it mean to be respectful in the cantina? Well, one of them is to open the door for other people when you exit or enter the cantina. Another one is to also not sit at large tables when you're a small friend, so a larger friend group can sit at that table instead. Another important one is to not leave your track in the table and clean them up so that you can think of the person who will leave that table after you. As you can see, there are so many different ways our treebies can be enacted when we are in the cantina. Thinking about and modeling our treebies help to make our school a better place for everyone. Be the change you want to see in the world. That's it for me. Over to you, studio. Well, that's a wrap for this week. 
Tune in again in November for more Bearcat TV updates. And remember, be here, be you, belong. Bearcats. I'm Jacob, and thanks for watching Bearcat TV. Stay classy, middle school, and have a wonderful week.